Hey guys, we'll share with a quick uh, grind video for my mission grind uh, technique for the tier 1 mode. I've grinded from 50 all the way to 1 uh, legitimately, and these are a few of the tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way. Um, the first thing to note, I did not pick up the DLC Peruvian Connection um, until I hit tier 10, and that DLC gives you this Inca Camina uh, province, and it's $4.99, 5 bucks. If you can afford it and you really want to do the grind, I suggest you pick it up because it has four um, really fast, easy missions that provide the top tiered points. Um, those missions are Northern Plain, Eastern Plain, and Southern Plain. All three of those are uh, the same. It's a plane crash that has five pallets of coke at each crash site. You need to go there, take out the security forces. Uh, two of them have just ten times or so foot mobiles. That you need to take out the third one spawns two helicopters you take them out and um, then you demo the coke and you're done those take five minutes tops each one all of them top tier points the last one la cabra here is also very simple um, and it has a bunch of extra bad guys at it you can snipe to get even more points and there's a little technique to get those guys to come to you that i'm going to show you right now if you don't have the dlc just skip forward um, and, it's in the notes. It'll be, I don't know, 60, 70 seconds or so and get to the regular grind for non-DLC missions. All right. Enjoy, guys. So it's this ridge way out here. You just set up down here. And I'll show it on the map right quick. Right there. HVT and her buddy are right there. You can take them out however you like. I'll typically just use an arty strike. Um, sometimes he already kills them both. Sometimes it doesn't kill the HVT and you've got to actually sniper. Watch the background. Just depends. Oops, god damn it. I called the rebels for some indirect fire. So, he'll either kill her, or you'll have to... Yeah, I got them both. I've already done this mission once, so I didn't get full points, but normally you would get uh, the full amount of points. And these guys are going to start looking for you. Um, typically, they'll get a hold of you, or they'll get a fix on you right away, kind of, and they'll start sending SUVs. But sometimes they don't know exactly where you're at, and you may have to shoot uh, your sniper rifle at them to wake them up to one of the guys down there. You can obviously use your spotting to see all the bad guys, but you got to leave a few guys alive in order to keep an eye on you. Now, you see where they're running towards us right there? This is our kill alley. Those SUVs will drop them off one by one, and they'll run right at you this way. Can't let them get too close right there because then they'll see you. But now this SUV will drop off a bunch more guys, and they'll run straight towards us right through that killing zone. Uh, and you can smoke them, and you'll get all... See how they're running straight towards us? You get all those points um, for being undetected and enemy killed. Those guys got a little close, so you know, fall back and either switch guns or have your buddies get them or whatever. I'll let my buddy get them. So, you can do that. Literally, you'll have five six waves at least of two suvs coming so that gives you a ton of points on that one okay the first one that i start with uh, if you don't have the dlc is el emisario it's in the ochoro uh, district it's up here to the north and what you want to do is spawn here at aqua verde bravo spawn a helo and then fly south if you spawn at one of these two close uh, control points or whatever the fuck they're called there is AA over there, so from the north there is no AA. Um, what we're going to do here is just halo onto the roof. And then there's going to be, uh, there's three guys on the roof that we've got to kill. We got a weird angle. Get back to work. Bowman can't wait to okay. take a run at El Amasario. So watch your fire. So there's a couple guys on the roof we want to take out Copy silently. That. One up here. 
Got eyes in the sniper. There's another one that's going to come around the corner right there. Sniper out there. And then the other guy's a Unidad right at the front door, or the door of where we need to go, right here. Did you get those three guys? I'll be damned. Ladies and gentlemen, LMSO. Let this audio play and then sneak up close and you'll get the option to search him. You gotta watch because those guys out that window down there will see you sometimes. And see those guys right there? They'll see you and ruin the whole thing, which pisses me off, but I think we're good here. Sneak up, get the search window. And as every animation in this game takes way too long to frickin' fire, sit here and hope that it fires okay. Hey, it does. Boom. Nice job, Your team's done so that's full point. You can go out the back. Um, you probably get shot at back here, but I can usually beeline it for this helo. After you get the suicide note and flee the house in Ochero, you can teleport up here to Espirito Santo Alpha, the safe house here. Um, from here, we can run three quick missions. Uh, first mission is called the Advisor, and from the safe house, it takes place right here in the Santa Morte Sanctuary. All you need to do is run through the woods, and then you can snipe the single target, or you can drone the single target in the sanctuary. You'll get a top-tiered points mission complete, then just run back into the woods, and you will lose your wanted level, or whatever it's called in this game. I can't remember what it's called. Um, the next mission you run from here is uh, Gold Rush North, and it is here at Alta Gracia Mine. You want to just take the bike from the station or whatever. Come at this from the south. You've got uh, whoops. You've got three bad guys outside of here in the sandbags, um, and then there's two bad guys inside the mine. One runs a patrol path, and the second guy is in the very back of the mine and then to the right. Easy to take them all out. Do it silently so you don't uh, alert anybody in the outpost. If you do it silently, you take out all five. Then there's three propane tanks in the back of the mine. You shoot. That will collapse the mine. You have 30 seconds to run out. Um, both of these missions can be started from Espirito Santo Alpha and they're very, very fast. So I do both of these twice to get uh, the extra points. Um, after those two, the next one you can do is the La Sentera. This is the Bouchon of the area or whatever. There's a technique to do it very, very quickly that I'll show in just a moment. Um, this is another top tier mission, uh, top tier point mission, and it's also very quick. So I also repeat this one sometimes as well. There's two other missions here. Um, one, you kill a bunch of her, her uh, like, top foot soldiers or whatever in two different towns. That one's not too terrible. There's 10 guys at each town, give or take. Uh, and you have to take them out, um, and that's a top tier one. The other one is um, the chapel at, up here. Um, you steal a Bible from there, and that one is kind of a bitch. It's out of the way. There's not really any close CPs, and there's a lot of guys in two outbuildings there that you have to take out. So I would stick to these three missions and just do them twice. That'll get you a shit ton of points. So I'll fast forward here to the um, technique for this particular mission. I do all my missions typically from a halo and a halo drop. It's just the fastest way for me to get from point to point. On this one, you want to drop onto these rocks uh, just east of the town where she's being held. And we've got four guys we need to take out here. Pause up here. There'll be two guys that are going to come walk along this path. Sometimes they path down towards us. Sometimes they path away from us. There's also two guys that will path, there they go, up the path. Just never mind them. They path away from us up to a chapel up there, and then they're no issue. Um, there's our two. So mark them. Tango. You've got a guy right in front of her cage. Right here. And then a guy Target over here spotter. on the 50. Marking an enemy. So get your position. guys marked. Moving to a better position. Required. Once you guys all have their shots, ready to fire. Take your shots, then run down this way. We're good. We're good. Call a helo right here. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle. And it'll spawn right there on the path. Now hug this cliff back towards 
Okay, eyes on target. The strangely hot priestess. And then you can take her to the Hilo. Let me go where the mundo, or I shall go and uh, the right to the extract. If you fly from here in the Hilo, direct to the extract, the there is no AA or no problems at all. Just fly right there and turn her in, and then you're done with this province. Like I said, you do these each of these missions twice. Um, they're really fast, and you net a ton of points. And then we'll move on to our next province. Once you complete your missions in Espirito Santo, go ahead and move over here to Kawani. Initiate the mission Train Graveyard. It's the top mission, the first mission you can select. And uh, then teleport to Kawani Alpha right here. Uh, a helo spawns at Kawani Alpha. You're going to want to mount up that helo. And we're going to take it to this ridge uh, right up here. You either land on the ridge or halo, whatever you prefer. And I'll fast forward to that now. Okay, we're arriving at the um, Overlook. As you can see, it's right here. Uh, Unidad patrols will fly by here from time to time, and you just need to lay down like this, and they'll fly right by. It won't do anything. I'm going to stand over here and call a helo. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for That us. gives us an escape helo right there. Now come here. Shoot on top of this train. To get the guards' Hold attention. On. Signs of cartel activity up ahead. Looks like Bowman was right. Like What's that? the play, boss? Let's find the asshole in charge and see what he can tell us. That's gonna make our HVT run for it. He's gonna run right towards our <laughs> helo <laughs> over here. They're on to us. Stay quiet. Eyes up. Let's get back to work. Remember, we need him alive. If that's a tour group, I'll need my fucking boots. You can see the bad the guy patrols will Only come by. Only one way to find out. What about the friendlies? Uh, but they'll go back we'll to where we were. Cut them loose if we can, but it's not our priority. They're back Clear. at the uh, fence looking for us. Looks like we cleared out just in time. So this guy... Just let him come to us. He's bailed. Grab him. I take him off the road a little bit, so none of these bad guys come back by. Uh, or a Unidad patrol comes back by and startles us while we do the interrogation, because the interrogation on this guy does take a second. But this is fine right here. Interrogate. Take it easy, okay? Come. Once the interrogation's complete, you'll get your full points, and you can just hightail it to your helo and initiate the next mission we're going to do, which is a Boston Reed. Boys, let's talk about this. And Maybe I'll we can make a that. deal, you and me. You want to? Well, actually, uh, Boston Reed takes place up here. Uh, if you don't know Boston Reed, it is. I mean, you should know it. It's the fastest, one of the fastest missions to do. It'll spawn 10 guys at this improvised runway. You just drop in wherever and smoke those 10 guys. Um, pick them all off. Then there's a laptop there that initiates Boston Reed to fly in this direction on a helo, uh, along with two armed escort uh, ground Vicks. Snipe the helo. Uh, before, the, before I call in the helo, I just drop a mine on this road. Smoke the helo. The Vix will hightail it towards you. The first one will hit the mine, and then you can just snipe the second Vic and kill everybody. That one's complete. Um, this Boston Reed one is also very, very fast. Therefore, I do it as a repeatable one. Um, and you can just teleport here to Coney Bravo, initiate it, and then drive a motorcycle down when you repeat it. The next one that we will do from this province is the truck, not the truck depot, the convoy. And I will... Um, teleport after we initiate the convoy we'll teleport over to the next control point all right so when you teleport to coney charlie the convoy will be relatively close right there and you get a couple of rounds out of this msr on him yeah, i missed that one Let's find out the fucking next time. The cartel is a big fucking hit to the bottom line. That completes that one. Um, now, this one is, uh, well, two things. Number one, I use the MSR, and I know that you can use the single shot that'll kill anything. Um, that would be easier for this mission, but I do use the MSR because I like to um, disable 
vehicles in one shot as opposed to just destroy them because that'll make the driver bail and I use that a couple times for MSR or high value targets but uh, the other thing approach. about this particular mission is it is repeatable you can restart the mission from where I'm standing right now stay down up here on the rock pile um, and this one is so fast from spawn that I actually usually do it twice or sometimes even three times if I just need a quick extra uh, mission or not We've got word you that a massive see there, shipment it'll of restart cocaine again. is being the first time by convoy to it'll Brazil. bug. Make sure those trucks don't reach the border. Okay. The first time it'll bug. See how this convoy doesn't spawn because this one is still there. But then it'll say failed and reload, and it'll start again with the convoy in the same place. You could also, if you wanted to just restart it right away, you could just kill uh, these guys, shoot four or five of those guys, and it'll restart. Okay, next missions. From Kone Charlie, you want to choose Romanzo and then select the mission Quinoa Factory. The Quinoa Factory is right here in the Romanzo base and fly, drive, however you want to get yourself into these hills just to the north of the Romanzo base. And then on these two buildings, they each contain a uh, production line. Just fly your explosive drone into one, blow the line, Wait for your drone to reload and then fly it into the other one and blow the other line. That's a full point uh, value mission there. Uh, then select Mule Doctors. That starts here in the, the south of this town. And uh, just get yourself close however you like to. I like to halo drop into the, this forest over here. Um, and then you can fly your drone into this building. There's three doctors in there. Um, you can either drone them if you can get them all to stand near each other uh, or highlight them and have your squaddies take them out however you want to do it but that one is also very easy and very fast both of these are full point missions and I like to repeat them as well as needed for the second round of half points uh, there's one more mission in here that's not too bad called the chemist if you need to um, get some extra points once you get in the higher tiers the chemist can be done there's a church that's surrounded with 10 or 15 bad guys you pick them all off from the hills and then uh, uh, once this guy gets warned he'll run so this is another one like that one on the ridge where you can get him to run and then take him down the road but I usually skip that one because it does take quite a bit longer than the others from Romanzo you want to teleport to Moyokoyo Bravo here and then start the mission Gabriella a helicopter will spawn right there in Moyokoyo, and you just fly the 1.2 kilometers right here. All right, my audio was damaged on that one, so I'm just going to talk us through this one. Uh, the trick here is to land in this specific area. You have to land right on top of this little um, brick fence or stone fence, and you have to land on top of it to knock it down. Otherwise, the girl has a hard time getting into the helo. You want to be careful here that you don't rotor strike the cross or the church. Once you've landed here, hop out, run into the church, and grab her. She will follow you to the helo. Just immediately get back in the helo, spool up. And sometimes she'll hop right in the helo, and sometimes she'll give you some trouble. Um, if she doesn't want to get in, just hover just off the ground, barely and come back down a little bit and she will uh, run over and get in like she is now. And you can see she's still giving me a little bit of trouble there. Um, typically she gets in quite a bit faster, but now she's in. You can take off and fly directly back to the CP where we started from and turn her in. After you turn her in at Moyokoyo, uh, begin the mission Moyokoyo's boss and then fly your helo back over here to this town to the east. We're going to halo onto the roof of his house. <sighs> Gotta get a little tricky there sometimes to avoid the detection, but that's as hard as it gets. I'm tier two, so there's four guys here we gotta take out. It looks like they're a little bit alerted right now, but 
This is the toughest Spotted guy one with in there. I'm moving to position. You get him. I need to get to a better position. Target acquired. I got it. Moving to position. Roger. Target acquired. Ready. Call the shot. Roger that. Moving. I got two Sicarios. The dump. Where else? Ready to engage. Okay. Everybody's got their shot. That's one down. Engaging hostiles. Those guys are down. Run inside. No se mueva. Find Ponga her. las manos donde pueda verlas. Quick interrogation. We're looking for the guy running Mojo Coyo. We know he lives here. Antonio? I don't know, I don't where, know he where he is. is. Bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. You're his wife. Yes. All right, so she's going to give us his schedule. We're going to run down to his garage, take his sports car, sick. and drive it sick right how? to where he sick is going to appear. Took the women from the villa. Here's his ride. Let's go. Just drive right past all these bad guys, right out of the garage. Left here. Take this road. Get out. It's actually not where we wanted that helo to spawn. I popped out too early. We should have jumped out up here. And if we spawn a helo here, the helo will spawn right here, right next to us. Three, seven seconds, I don't know. We're clear on this side. Come on, buddy boy. Hostiles in the area, stay frosty. That whip's got an alarm. Again, this is why I use the MSR. Our boy. That takes care of him. Silencio. Get the fuck off me! Got him. Damn it. Boom. Engage. Hate those fuckers. I asked the rebels to drop off a ride. Alright, we can stow this guy in the helo and then fly him up to the extract. It's just about a click away. And that will complete this one. There's one bonus mission here in Moyo Koyo. Uh, you can do it if you need to. I usually only do this one if I'm short points. It is a full tiered one, but it is a little bit more involved. Um, it is the main stash. And what you want to do is come at it from the east here. And then there's just a few guys that we've got to take out. There's a sniper in this tower. He goes up and down the stairs. Drone is airborne. There he is. He's I got on eyes the outside. The and then there's a guy in this pillbox. That makes five. And these two guys that move around. But I usually just pop that guy out there. So we're going to do these guys one at a time. Got it. Moving. Actually get my guys to hit the sniper. I'll take out the pillbox. Got the target. Got one. Two Sicarios. Okay. Next to that coke Those two are down. Go over here. Up these stairs. Watch for that guy there. If he's not going to move, then wait for your uh, sink shot, and we'll sink him. And the guy looking this way. I'm getting sink a position. Him. I got guy's moving off, so we're good. Now you want to go over this right here. Sink our guy at the front door. That guy's ah, shit. They're gonna this make one's coming back. back. So target number five. Yeah. Once those guys are out in here, hit this button. Be careful. There's other guys in this building. And then straight across the courtyard, up these stairs, and immediately off this wall. Follow the wall and the rocks. Fucking Uni Dead, of course. Look out for them. Hide from Uni Dead. I'm seeing two Narcos off. here. 
by that coke ship. Just head back down here to your little rock pile. And uh, you can hide here and send a drone, an explosive drone, into that closet that we opened to start blowing coke. You gotta send probably three or four drones in there to get it all. Uh, and it will alert them. Sometimes they'll start to move towards your position, and if they do, just move. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Oh shit, I had my medic That woke them up. <laughs> well, if you do the explosive, blow the first one. Um, you may have to move, and I will just move down to a different rock pile, and then work my way, if I need to, around to the north, and just send drones in there and blow them. Like I said, two, three drones will take it out. Uh, and that's it for that one. Other than that, there are a couple other full point missions around the map that are similar to that one that are kind of involved, um, but do dispense full points. The one off the top of my head is here in Flori, Flor de Oro. There's one where you follow a informant, or it's I think it's called like the, uh, I don't know, whatever informant. You follow a guy up in the mountains, then you just snipe one guy. That one's pretty easy. But uh, yeah, that's it for my rotation. now. Doing that rotation, not even including the Inca Camina stuff, uh, just all the other ones that I showed, will easily complete levels 1 through 30, bef not even one way through the full rotation. Uh, when, uh, once you get below 20, um, you have to include this Inca Camina stuff or start doing dupes, duplicates on these. And uh, certainly below 10 and 5, you have to do them a lot. I stacked all my boosters for sub five, and I actually have still two boosters left, and I'm about to hit tier one here pretty soon. So if you're stacking boosters, you probably want to start using those around eight or so. And that's it, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, get cracking on tier one and have fun. Thanks for watching.